Honestly, it's the best way to start your day. So if you're watching this while you're taking a sh We can be friends. But now let me, let me take my cock now finish, no? Because you're watching me take a cock and I want to finish. This is my time. Yeah, you're invading my... Two things you have to do. Please make your bed. Like it's just unacceptable that you're not making your bed. Who do you think you are? Okay, now, nah, okay, let's say you don't want to. Let's say, okay, who the fuck is this guy? And you're right, who the fuck am I? I'm just trying to help you. You know, making your bed like starts your day off right. It's weird, bruh. But kind of puts you in a... Like how can you not make your bed? Like, don't be cack, man. Just make your bed, bro. It's two minutes. I like to follow that rule in life. Two minutes, bro. It'll probably take me less than two minutes. I might as well just do it now. You know what I'm saying? If that, if there's a girl you want to go talk to and you cack scared, bro, it won't take more than two minutes. Just go talk to her. It's just two minutes of your life. That's, that's, that's if you make it that far. So what the fuck do you have to lose anyway? Just make your bed, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna start your day off right, get kickstart. I don't want you guys to be lazy. And then another thing, wash your face. Now, I used to wash my face with a lot of, my face is kind of cl clean, I'd say. Use it. I used to wash my face with like all the product in the world, but I was listening to the radio one morning, no? And then this guy said like, why do you think Asian people, like their skin is always like nice? Have you guys seen Asian people's skin, bro? It's like perfect. Like look at those brass of BTS. Those men are like, they look like dolls, like literal doll, dolls, but it's like they have very nice skin, bro. And I was like, yo, I need that, you know what I'm saying? Now, I did have a lot of acne. I did have a lot of, a lot of acne, bro. Like, it was bad. I was very, very, very insecure. I still get now and then, honestly. Like, I have to take pills. Go, you can go to your doctor, bro. He'll sort you out. It's like acne pills. I used to take a lot when I was 14. Because I broke out quick, man. I, I, I grew into puberty early. So I had to take like pills to get my skin clear. Once it was clear, it had bad effects too. Like you have to get a blood test done and shit. Make sure shit's working. It made my lips and my skin very dry, bro. Because it kind of takes away the pimples from not just the surface, but like from deeper in your skin. Because your skin have layers, bro. Dr. Javas. This bro said on the radio, like they don't use any products, the Asian people. They just wash their face with water. <laughs> so I was like... Since then, I've never used a, a, a product, like, to wash my face. I just, I wash my face, like, with water, no? And then I take, like, a towel. I have a face towel and a body towel. I remember the doctor told me one time, like, make the towel wet, no? And then you, like, rub it. And you'll see, like, if your face is oily, no? And you rub it like this. You'll feel like it's not oily anymore. So I just figured, you know what, I'm just gonna do that. Because <laughs> I have very oily skin. Yeah, so I'll just rinse my face and then get my clean... Face, uh, face towel. I don't rub eyes. I just, you know what I'm saying? Just dap it, dap it. No? And then I have a moisturizer. I'm not gonna say who because they don't sponsor me, man. I'm giving you guys free game, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then you just... This is just to hydrate your skin. You know what I'm saying? Just to hydrate it. Seems they? I just make sure, you know what I'm saying? Especially under the eyes. So my eyes don't look dark. I don't even use that much, bro. Just so it moisturizes, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why I did that because I still uh, like have to shower and sh I found a stack and uh, I was looking for something else, man. I was looking for this actually, this fake tattoo stuff. And um, I remember like where I put my old photos, you know, school photos and a lot of shit. So it was just cool, man. And I, I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna share it with you guys, man. So this was me in grade R. Aww. I can't lie, bro, this guy, this guy would take your girl, bro. 
This is if we had to be one thousand percent honest, that guy would take your bow. Ah, your girl. <laughs> what am I saying? Life is weird, bro. This was me in grade four. You forget how far you've come sometimes, you know? I didn't even like mean to get emotional or whatever, but and it's so funny because last week I literally said I won't cry. <laughs> it's just, it's weird man, like looking at these pictures, I'm an emotional guy, but I'm like weird emotional, you know, like I'm emotional, but I'm not, like I'm emotional on my own. But I think I can like handle my emotions well. It's like like when I'm sad and shit, I can normally I can handle it quite okay. I must say I have this problem man where like I, I love sometimes too much in the future man. You forget like how far you've come in as not even just as a like a YouTuber or whatever the fuck. More as a person man. I think a lot of people forget that. Especially me. And just looking at these photos, I'm like realizing like how far man is coming, you know? And how much cuck a man has gone through in life that you don't even like realize, man. So that's why I got a bit emotional, man. Because I was like, and it just hit me, bro. Like fucking out of nowhere. So when I look at these pictures, bro, I'm, I'm like, I'm proud, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm really proud, bro. And I want you guys to be proud of yourselves too, man. A lot of us go through a lot that nobody even know about. And you sometimes feel alone. You're never alone. You're never alone. There's always somebody that is there for you. I don't want you guys to ever feel like um, you are alone. You know, the older I'm getting, the less I want to talk. I don't know if that makes sense, but my mission in life, because I'm I'm trying to find purpose, man. And my 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 mission in life is is ever changing, you know. Yes, I love entertaining you guys, and I know there are people that genuinely genuinely mess with me, and that means a whole lot to me. But at the same time, I don't just want to entertain, man. I want to leave a bigger message when I'm dead. I'm not sick of saying I'm gonna die or whatever. I'm just saying like, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to realize like there's more to life than just 
You know what I'm saying? I don't want to make this too deep, but you just get the point, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like we all have a purpose, bro. Somehow, some way, some form. And I'm trying to find mine. And I want to, like, leave a bigger message message than, than just entertain you guys. So, I don't even know where I'm going with this video. I just want everyone to be nicer to each other. Because I was bullied a cock lot. This night was bullied, bro. This man was bullied. And a lot of what happened to me when I was younger is, is formed me to be how I am today. But I'm really proud, bro. I overcame a lot. I've overcome a lot. And I'm excited to see where this lighty can go. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you, bye.